Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Simulation by Atom. So in today's video we are going to build a lithium ion battery model and it's a lumped model meaning we are not going to simulate all the microscopic phenomena that occur. Instead we are going to treat the whole battery as a one single unit and then implement all the equations and formulas and stuff. And it's a thermal analysis and we're going to do it for a module instead of one battery we will start from one cell and then we'll just like replicate the stuff using different commands like mirror command maybe an array or something like that so let's start with the model here so this is what you see in your console the first thing we do is model wizard here and add a 3d now at this point you don't need to select anything let's just go with the done part we'll manually select these things later on so the very first thing is we need the geometry for that we need different parameters here now i already developed the whole thing like from scratch so i will just start by copying these dimensions that i will need and this is how our geometry will look like so copy all of that here now the first thing to go is to go to the geometry and then right click this one and add a cylinder since uh, we are going to simulate a cylindrical battery and type here as our battery which is one of the parameters that i have here so this is like diameter of battery radius of battery the height the height of terminal like the end terminals at, at the both ends of the battery uh, that would be the radius of those terminals then we have d s c and h s c these are basically connectors that connect each batteries s c means serial connections and p c means parallel connections like the batteries that are parallel to each other or maybe serial to each other so radius of battery then we have height of the battery so let's just build this one so this is the battery now we need terminals on like one here and one here but before yeah we'll basically just add another cylinder because we would those are circular as well so they are, those are also simply just uh, cylinders so let's write here our um, I'm writing our terminal and the height here would be h terminal now if i simply select this you will see that it it will be inside this cylinder something like this right but we don't want this we want it to be a little bit downward on the surface not inside the battery for that simply right here maybe minus at terminal this is like the to decide where the origin or the position of that terminal so this is the terminal here now we need another terminal on the other side so for that instead of creating another cylinder uh, here we can use another command that says array transform and use array for that simply just select this thing this here so now we want this to translate from here to this place for that we you can write here as h terminal now this will be once yeah that's fine plus we want h battery that will be the part of the battery press build select uh, we are getting an error and external h batteries we write in the sorry property full size array yeah sorry uh the thing is like we, this is where we select like how many elements do you want so i will be writing here as two because we want one more in the z direction and this is where this placement comes sorry about that so there we go so this is like one battery here now uh since i'm going to simulate a module we need few more batteries now definitely we won't be simulating the entire module we will be making use of commands like mirror commands something like uh this one here but not right now for the timing we can use another array command this one so and we need to create let's say two more of these so you can simply just select these three parts here now i want this to be like translate in the x direction so let's say i need two more so one and two more that would be to in total we need three and the displacement 
since we want this to displace in the x direction for that we need the distance to be equal to the diameter of the battery and there we go so these are the three batteries that we'll be simulating for the timing and then we will use mirror command to simulate the entire module and further now we need connectors or connections like these connect connections here to connect these in C series or maybe in parallel i will be considering both parallel and series connections so it, although in reality we have like only one type of con uh, connection at one time so just for the sake of like showing to how it's done so i'll be simulating both of them so for that we need blocks simply blocks so the first block will be connect uh, connecting these two batteries here serial connector and the width of that would be let's say d which i have already specified in the parameters and uh, let's see the height and width let's say the both of them will be same maybe and this will be the height of the terminal uh, sorry serial connectors now this here might need to change because we are connecting to batteries and the distance would be between them would be the diameter of the battery plus let's see maybe d let's see this should look good as for the position here we can use this value here and half of that negative half of this one and we can copy this here and in the z direction we don't we, yeah, we actually need that and the, since this surface of the cylinder is actually where the origin is at the center of it but the connector needs to be at the bottom of this surface right so for that we have to add minus h terminal and this should give us a little bit more than that maybe we can multiply uh, let's see not exactly height we can actually multiply this one here not multiply but just simply subtract it okay we need actually half of that yeah so this is like our series connection or connector so that's one thing now we need another one but that should be connecting this battery like in this direction here so that since it is a mirror command that will be used on this plane somewhere here so we need this halfway from in this direction so for that we will be creating an other blocks for that just simply duplicate this one and uh, this whole thing will be same except this width this time would be half of what it is now since we will only be making half connector in this direction and this extraction now this needs to be let's say one and maybe two so we need uh, let's see it actually needs to go in the x direction so that would be plus two times of uh, diameter of the battery and this is why and for that we might not need to change this let's see yeah so yeah luckily it went well so this is our like the second connector now we need something like this at the top here as well right for that we have like quite a few ways to do that so for example we can move this one let's say use the command maybe move here and we will be moving this part so now we can't be moving this here we need to move this connect for connection connecting these two batteries for that in the x direction i believe that would be diameter of the battery and then so putting this moves this thing like here but now we need this to translate to this part for that we need in the z direction we will be putting h battery and then plus the two times the terminal height and additionally we need once the height of the serial connector that would be at sc i think that should do yeah so that's our serial connector at the top but notice that we don't have uh 
are connected here right so for that you can just check this box saying keep input objects that will simply make sure that the one that you copy doesn't exactly the original one is basically a copy of that one and now we need one last connector here for that we can actually do the same thing for uh, this one to move but let's just simply create a, another box just to duplicate this one here and now this needs to be moved like here and that would be let's see maybe half of this battery and depth height is okay in the x direction now it's this but in the y direction now it's more than this one here it would be another edge height of a battery and minus the edge height of a serial connector i think this should be fine oops let's check what exactly happened here let me check x y and then minus HTML SC. Sorry, we did minus right. It needs to be positive actually. Sorry about that. It's actually the geometry is quite big and I can't really like memorize the whole thing from. So this needs to move. Uh, notice that this height probably this needs to be half maybe. Uh, not quite. Actually, then what exactly would that be? It's probably the terminal. Since we, but we don't need the terminal right now. Okay, half of what exactly? So that's like one height of the terminal. Actually, I think we don't really need this maybe. Yeah, but we want this to be like in this direction instead of there so for that we need this thing and probably we need to mm, subtract the diameter of the battery and half of that not exactly the whole thing uh, yeah almost almost but for this here we can actually add rather than subtracting it maybe yeah this looks pretty good right mm -hmm. but Notice that this is a little bit smaller and for that we can do is we can add a little bit more width maybe. Uh, since probably it should do. As for this one, mm, let's see. We need to move this in the negative right. So then we can say this. Yeah, now it's okay. Yeah, okay, fine. So these are all serial connectors. Now we need the connectors that would go in the parallel direction. For that, we can just create one block in this direction here, in the y direction, positive y. For that, you can do like create another block here, something like this one. Now, for those, we have like for parallel connectors, we have these two dimensions 0.5 millimeter and 1 millimeter height and width, right? so we will be using these parameters now for this one so the width would be the wac and depth would be what is this let's consider the same thing 